Welcome back to John's Music. In today's video, we are comparing two guitars from the price range of 10 to 20,000. This is one of our most suggested guitars in that price range. Both are great for beginners and intermediates. This what we have here is Kepma D1C and this what we have here is the Kepma EDC. Without any further delay, let's check them out. So when a beginner or an intermediate guitar player is looking for a guitar, we generally suggest a price range of 10 to 20,000. This is because that price range has very good brands, very good build quality and even great sound. Not that the under 10,000 guitars are bad, but 10 to 20,000 is something a very optimum price range where you're not looking at a very high budget guitar or a professional guitar, yet you are getting decent quality in build and in tone. So there are many options in brands to choose from. The popular ones are Cot, Fender, Ibanez, Kepma. Uh, then there is Orangewood and Tanglewood as well. So Kepma has been one of those brands that we have found that who has very, very stable uh, quality throughout these years. This particular model that I have in my hand here is D1C in the black matte finish. D1C also used to come in glossy finish, but now recent times they haven't been making that. The matte finish is what is available. This also is available in sunburst matte as well as the natural matte. Now, before we get into the specifications and the comparison, we want to mention why we chose these two guitars to compare. The reason is simple. They have many similar specifications. There is little specs difference. And as well as there is a price difference about two to 3000 rupees. So a person who's looking for a guitar often gets confused whether this is enough for that person or that extra money will get them a better guitar. So the confusion is very obvious because the price range is not very huge. However, there are some specs difference, which we'll get into right now. So coming to the specifications of Kepma D1C, this has a spruce top, which is laminate and a laminate back and side, which is a combination of Sapelli and Agathis. The neck is made of NATO, which is the alternate of mahogany. Thankfully, Kepma is one of the only brands under the 20,000 category that uses the fretboard, which is rosewood as well as rosewood bridge. Not that this might be continuing for a long time. This may change because there is always shortage of woods available in the industry. So they might choose alternate, but currently it is rosewood. And obviously rosewood is one of the traditional woods used in the bridge and the fretboard, which is obviously a very hard wood, a good looking wood and durable as well. The nut and saddle is ABS, which is a very strong and durable material as well. Not as good as bone, but it is very good for this price category. Uh, if you want to uh, order separate spares of nut and saddle, that is also available in Kepma. Bridge pins are plastic. So this pickguard is something that many people are getting confused about. This is the new shape of the pickguard available in the D1C as well as the EDC. Earlier, it used to be in a different shape, but this is the teardrop shape is what it's called. The teardrop shape is what is now the common one. The D1C has a Kepma logo, which is embedded on the 12th fret. However, the EDC does not have it. We wish that it was same on both. In fact, EDC is a higher range guitar, so I think this should have been there. Uh, but then this is what it is. The diecast keys is black chrome in Kepma D1C and it is silver chrome on the EDC. Also, the st uh, strap nuts in D1C is black chrome, which is matching with your key set over here. One thing also again to mention, if the key goes bad in the future, Kepma has replacement keys of the same color in for both guitars, black chrome as well as the silver chrome. You can choose as per uh, your guitar's model. Now coming to the specifications of the Kepma EDC. Now most of the specifications are exactly same. The major difference what we have here is that the Kepma EDC has mahogany back and sides, laminate of course. The mahogany does have quite a sound difference in comparison with D1C, which we'll be getting into soon. There is going to be a sound demo ahead. Other difference as we discussed is the keys. It's silver chrome. Strap nuts are silver chrome. The string gauge is different. D1C has a 10 gauge string. The default string set on the Kepma EDC is 12 gauge. One thing good about the E series is that it comes in three sizes. One is EDC, the dreadnought size that we are holding. Then there is an EAC, which is a grand auditorium size. And there is an ES36, which is a travel size guitar. And the better part is that all these three models come in an electroacoustic version as well. Kepma has in fact even launched a transacoustic version of these models. Coming to the color options, we have four options in the Kepma EDC. This what we have here is the black matte. 
we also have the natural and sunburst which is again similar uh, spruce top however there is also a mahogany top variant in the e series in case you're wondering what is the kind of sound difference that a spruce and a mahogany gives we have made a video on that as well you can click the i button and you can find the video over there which is kept my edc spruce top west kept my edc mahogany top the Kepma D1C also has another size option that is the A1C that is the grand auditorium size. However, this particular series do not have a travel size option. The D1C and A1C also comes in a semi-acoustic version and a trans-acoustic version as well. Now coming to what you get along with the guitar, both the guitars come with padded bags. The D1C, A1C and the entire E series has a 10mm padded bag which is printed with Kepma. Now the good thing is that if you go for any electroacoustic version of any of these models, you get a 4.5 meter cable also free with the guitar. So a good package overall, plectrums is something that we add on all guitars when we dispatch. So that was the technical specification of the D1C and the EDC. It is time to check out how these two guitars sound apart. So the final verdict on the Kepma D1C and the Kepma EDC. Both are really good sounding guitars. D1C sounds very bright, which is something that a beginner guitar player might like. The EDC is one of my better favorites because this has much more of a control sound and that is due to the good quality mahogany used on the guitar. Really brings out a warm and a controlled sound, a very balanced sound. It's not very shrilly, it's not too bassy. The notes are very clear. And yet it's very pleasant for this having a guitar in this price range. But if the question arises that is the extra money worth investing into the E-Series, the answer is definitely yes. The sounds better. And for some reason, even if both the guitars say it's a C-shaped neck, the E-Series has a much thinner and more comfortable neck. Build quality wise, both these guitars are very well constructed, no issues whatsoever. Paint job wise also the E series also great and the A1C D1C also has a very good paint job. In fact, this is one of the only brands where we don't find finishing errors 
as much as we find in other brands. The guitars is absolutely perfectly finished, and I appreciate the company's uh, quality check that is done before it's dispatched into India. None of the Kepma guitars, in fact, we have inspected has any kind of issues that are so bothering. Obviously, the action of the guitar is something that we have to set before dispatch. Other than that, finishing error wise or any kind of manufacturing defect wise, we have never found such issues. There is definitely a stigma associated with Kepma guitars that it is being called a Chinese brand and it is not of good quality. However, I would really like to mention that this is one of the only brands, in fact, that is a China brand and yet making such amazing guitars. This is the entry level of Kepma. The higher end guitars goes almost up to 1.4 lakhs with great specification and even build quality. So that stigma is something that is not really true. The China guitars that is generally spoken about are the ones under 7,000 or maybe even under 4,000 rupees which is intended for just mass selling without any kind of quality control or check. However, these are really good quality checked guitars. Uh, I cannot say this is as a China guitar. Kepma in fact being one of the newer players in the market, hardly maybe 10 to 15 years and still it is already recognized and it is competing with the top brands in the world in fact. So overall, the brand has a vision to make a good guitar. They are not really compromising on quality. There has been a price increase but I believe that is to maintain the quality that the company is offering and not compromise on anything that makes the guitar sound bad. There are a lot of other brands that end up compromising the quality to maintain the price for the Indian price segment. But that is not the case with Kepma and I really appreciate their work here. The sound and the build quality is definitely amazing. If you think we should do a comparison video of Kepma guitars alongside any other international brands, Please do leave a comment below so that we know that what kind of videos you're looking for. We'll definitely try to make uh, a comparison video. But make sure the, the two comparison videos are in the similar price segment in a maximum price difference of 3 to 4,000 or max 5,000. We really cannot compare a guitar of 10,000 against a guitar of 20,000 because the, the difference is going to be obvious. It, the 20,000 guitar will be better by default regardless of the brand. One of the things that I forgot to mention is that the E-Series is definitely lighter than the D1C and the A1C. That's because of the Sapelli and Agathis wood is heavier than the mahogany wood. This is a little more lighter as compared to the other guitar. So that was the review of the Kepma EDC and the D1C. I hope we cleared some kind of confusion if you had one. The links to buy both these guitars are in the description. There are multiple colors also, so you can browse our website for the same. If you have any further doubts or queries, you can reach us out on our call and WhatsApp support. We'll definitely try to help you guys out. So that's all for today. Thank you again for watching. Do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you like more product reviews and educational content. And a bigger thank you for your continued support by buying from our website. It means a lot and helps us to keep doing such work continuously. An immense gratitude from the whole John's Music team. So see you again next week with some more product reviews and educational content. Until then, bye-bye.